Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to do an updated review of the Mixbook photo books and also of their brand new designer collection by Martha Stewart. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. I also have a Patreon page now if you want to show your support for this channel. If you are new to my YouTube channel or blog, then this video is going to show you everything you need to know about the Mixbook photo books. However, if you are a regular viewer or regular follower, you'll still find some new information in this video. My Mixbook lay flat photo book review was the first ever video I made for this YouTube channel and it paved the way to this entire vlog. Back then, my filming skills and setup was a lot more basic than it is now and also I didn't go into such detail about the photo books as I do now. The reason why I'm doing this review now is to give you guys an update about the things that have changed on the Mixbook website in the past few months and also to give Mixbook another chance to shine with better filming skills and more detailed photos and more attention to the details inside the books. So just a couple of words about the company. It's an American corporation founded in 2006 and their primary goal was to help um, schools and students make their yearbooks. So they created uh, a photo book editor, which soon became one of the best photo book editors in the world. And later on, they added more and more products like calendars, cards and wall art. So let's dive in because there are quite a few things to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is availability and the website. This has changed in the past months and many of you might not know about it. A few months or years ago, when you went onto the Mixbook website, most of the products were sent from the United States wherever you were around the world. So if I was in the UK and I ordered products from the Mixbook website, they were sent from the US and all the products available in the US were available in the rest of the world as well. Now they have separate stores and printing stations around the world. So they've got one in Australia, Canada, United States, the UK and the EU. When you go onto the Mixbook website, you have to go into your account, into the settings, and you have to change your preferred store to the one that's closest to you. So if you're in the EU, to the EU store, if you're in the UK, UK, US, and so on. And when you do that, all the products that show up on the website are going to be available in your area. Now, this sounds pretty much straightforward and good, but what I noticed is that some of the products I used to get disappeared from the UK shop. So for example, if you want to get a pearly finish perfect bound book, or if you want to get a lustrous finish lay flat book, it doesn't show up in the UK store. So I wanted to switch to the US store to order it from there. So buy it from the US store, but get it shipped to the UK, just like in the olden days. But to my big surprise, that's not possible anymore. So when you go to the US website and you try to order a product that's not available in your shop, it's going to show up with a red exclamation mark saying that, yes, you can buy this product, but they won't be able to ship it to you outside the US. I think this is very important when you make a photo book, make sure to change the store to the location where you are and then you'll see all the available products that you can get. So now that that's out of the way, uh, before I go into my close-up shots and show you everything about sizes, cover, paper, binding, and the print quality, I want to talk a little bit about the editor and show you the Martha Stewart collection. So these are my mixed book books here, a selection. And the bottom one is my newest one from a week ago. And this one is a big 12 by 12 inch photo book with photos from Italy. And what I want to say about this book, first of all, what I want to say about the editor is that the reason why Mixbook always really stood out for me was their editor. It's such a funky looking, easy to use, great looking out of the box editor that it's very difficult to go wrong with it. So if you are not very good at editing and you hate moving boxes around, and then the Mixbook editor is going to be perfect for you. What you need to do is go onto the website and select from many of the hundreds and hundreds of ready-made books. What is a ready-made book? Basically with Mixbook, you have to select book types by looking through the contents. So 
you have, I don't know, maybe 50 types of travel themed books. And when you click on the samples, you actually see a full book with sample photos and the entire design, which is very good because most companies will show you empty photo boxes in these samples, which makes it very difficult to actually imagine how the book would look like. So when you click on these samples and you find something that you like, you can browse through the pages and then click on it and the editor opens up. It's an online editor, so you have to upload your photos or connect through your social accounts and pull the pictures from there. The editor is almost like making a scrapbook. The basic elements are photos, backgrounds and stickers. They have thousands and thousands of stickers and so many backgrounds to choose from, but the best thing is that you don't actually have to go through all of them and select every single element for your book. You can look through these pre-made book templates and select fully designed pages and all you need to do is drag photos into the pre-made placeholders and then your photo book can be done in less than 10 minutes. Of course, if you want to change these templates because it's not going to fit everybody's holiday or everybody's uh, event, then you can of course change everything on the page. You can get rid of stickers, you can put new stickers on, you can change the orientation the size and the position of the photos, but you have something to start off with. So that's what Mixbook excels at and that's why their photo books all look so vivid, colorful and um, funky. So when you look through the themes, they used to have loads in the past as well, but recently they started to collaborate with designers from YouTube and bloggers and also some famous names like Martha Stewart. So she created a couple of designs for photo books and these designs are also available for cards and calendars. So if you want to buy a bundle for Christmas or whatever, then you can use the same design for the photo book, the card and the calendar as well. Uh, she has lots of designs for weddings, family events and a couple of travel themed designs as well. I have to say most of the Martha Stewart ones are quite girly or feminine. I know I shouldn't use that word because nothing's gender specific nowadays, but what I mean by that is that it's lots of pink, lots of flowers, lots of floral ornaments. So it's something that I think would appeal more to girls. That's what I'm trying to say here, but that doesn't mean that boys can't get it. The one I chose for this book was more about travel elements and less floral and that's why I liked it and I want to show you to you very quickly before I go into my close-up shots. So with this book I hardly changed anything inside, all I did was created pre-made page designs and dragged my photos into it. So there we go, let me keep it in there. So that's my first page and here you can already see the beautiful uh, typography and an interesting background and then you go to the next one and this was in Pisa and you can see a tower here. And the great thing about Meg's book is that they have so many stickers that you always find something that fits your occasion. So I could even find this in the stickers. I didn't have to find one on Google and import it. And if you go on to the next page, again, you can see the different layouts and the backgrounds available in this um, theme. Meg's book again uses lots of quotes and kind of happy text elements that you can insert into the books, you know, like inspirational kind of little sentences. And here are a couple more pages. You can see again, quite layouts and again, backgrounds. And these were all specific to this one Martha Stewart template. I'm trying to hold it higher up so you can see it. A couple more pages. And there we go, that's 20 pages. So I'm gonna go into my close-up shots now and talk about the details of the book, what you can get, what options you can choose from, the print quality and so on. And hopefully that should answer all of your questions about Meg's book. The first thing I wanna talk about is the sizes. The Meg's book books come in three different formats, landscape, portrait and square. The landscapes are in eight by six inches, 11 by 8.5 inches, and 14 by 11 inches. The portrait comes in only one size, which is 8.5 by 11 inches, and the square sizes start at six by six inches, 8.5 by 8.5 inches, 10 by 10 inches, and 12 by 12 inches. So it's not the biggest selection, but it's certainly big enough to cover most needs. You've got small, medium, large, landscape, portrait, and 
square as well so pretty much uh, it should fit every project that you have in mind now let's have a look at them just in reality i've got most of the sizes here but not all of them that's an eight by six landscape so compared to my hand size kind of a pocket book then we've got the 8.5 by 8.5 inch square then the most popular one the 11 by 8.5 inches landscape and the portrait would look like that so the same size but a different orientation and the biggest square the 12 by 12 inches square is this one so it's a really big book the second thing to talk about is the covers they've got four basic types of covers the first one is soft cover which is glossy and slightly thicker than the inner pages it's the most basic lightest and most affordable cover type you can personalize it with photos and text on the back and the front as well unfortunately i haven't got that one to show you but it looks just like the hardcover which i do have so the second one would be the glossy hardcover which is the same as the soft cover but it's hard back so with this one as you can see it's very very shiny and you can personalize the front you can personalize the back and you can personalize the spine as well the third type is the soft touch mat which looks like this so the same personalization on all sides but as you can see this one has no shine at all so it's nice and matte and it's very smooth as well so here is the difference between the two covers. And the last one is the leather cover with a dust jacket. So this is uh, not a real leather, so it's very good for vegans. And as you can see, the front dust jacket is again matte and it's fully personalizable, just like the image wrap hardcover. So front, back, and also the spine. And when you take off this dust jacket, you'll find a black leather cover which has a very interesting texture and it only comes in one color black and you can't put any hot stamping or foil stamping you can't personalize the leather cover that's why you have the dust jacket not all of the books are eligible for all four cover types for example you can't have the leather cover for a lay flat book and you can't have the soft cover for larger books like the 14 by 11 or 12 by 12 inch book all the covers are nice and they are good quality but at the moment there are no luxury options like linen, crystal or genuine leather and for that reason I would put these books into the affordable to mid-range category and therefore none of these books are really luxury because of the lack of uh, these very handcrafted special covers. Let's move on to the binding. Mixbook offers two kinds of bindings, perfect binding and seamless lay flat binding. Let's see the first one, the perfect bound book. So this one is a perfect bound book. And as you can see, it doesn't open fully flat. So you kind of have to force it to go down. And there's a little bit getting lost in the middle that you can't really see. That's like half a centimeters or a quarter of an inch. And what you need to know about this binding type is that the pages are printed double sided. So this side and that side is printed on the same page. And these pages are then glued together at the bottom. And that creates the perfect bound book. All of these books, which are perfect bound, can go up to 300 pages. So you can create a very long book for a very big project. And they are also going to be much lighter. And the pages, as you can see, are fairly thin around 150 gsm so uh, they are not rigid this binding type is available for all book sizes the second binding type is the seamless lay flat and as the name says these books stay fully flat and you don't have to keep them open and they are printed using a different technology so when these books are printed the left and the right side are printed as a single sheet and then the same happens here and then these two long sheets are stuck to each other and that creates a very rigid strong page this binding method also results in an uninterrupted flow of images there is no break anywhere in the middle so it's perfect for panorama shots like this one or layouts that go around two pages now what you need to know about this binding method is that the pages are really thick and the book is going to be much heavier this book is 89 pages and you can see the spine of it now let me show you in comparison the perfect bound book which is 300 pages so here are the two books this one is 300 pages this one is 89 pages and you can see the difference between the two books
Another thing to know is that if you opt for the pearly lustrous finish with your lay flat book, the pages are going to be much thinner. So this one is, as you can see, a pearly uh, finish and here the pages are more bendable and they are thinner. And the reason for that is that in this book, the double sheets are stuck to each other without anything being added between the sheets. However, if you go for the matte finish, then there is going to be a substrate or sheet inserted between these two pages and that results in a much thicker, more rigid page. You can see the thickness of the page. I have a lot of mixed book books and some of them are eight years old and the binding still holds strong. None of them fell apart, none of them got damaged, so I can say that the binding is of high quality in all of the books. Let's move on to the paper types. Mixbook offers four different paper types, two for each binding, so really it's two options in each case. If you go for the perfect bound book, the standard paper is going to be a semi-gloss paper, which you can see in this book. So this paper has a very subtle sheen, but it has a very smooth surface at the same time and is brilliant white, so it's going to yield a very good white balance in your books. And that's the kind of texture that you get from the silk semi-gloss paper. There is a second option for the Perfect Bound book, which is the Pearly Finish Paper. It's very similar to the Lustrous Finish in the Lay Flat books, but of course it's going to be thinner. This book is Lay Flat and it has the Pearly Lustrous Finish. And let me show you a page here. You can see that it has a very, very subtle kind of pearly texture. It's not anything like a lustrous photographic paper, but it's trying to resemble that kind of look. And again, it's going to be thinner than the matte paper. The matte paper is completely shine free, as you can see, and it's thicker and the surface looks almost like text stock. So it's a little, it's less smooth than the other paper types. That's the kind of uh, texture that you get. So it almost looks a little bit like uncoated papers. However, this book is from the United States and the one that I got from the UK has a slightly different paper inside. And this one is the matte paper in the UK. And as you can see, it has a little bit more sheen and it's also much smoother and it feels more like a coated paper. So I'm not sure if the American store is still using this paper or if they switched to the one that's used in the UK, but my preference would be for the one that's sold in the UK. It's nicer and it feels more like a photograph. Unfortunately, there are no photographic papers and there is no high gloss paper option at the moment. Maybe in the future, they will introduce that too. Let's go on to the final and most important aspect of the photo book, the print quality inside. All of the mixed book photo books are printed using HP Indigo printers. These are digital printers and the print is made up of tiny dots and they create the image. So it's a half tone print method. It's not a continuous tone print. And uh, this print quality is a very standard kind of print, the one that you would find in most bookshop books and it's not going to be as natural on skin tones and as smooth as silver halide but it's doing very well in the mid-range to affordable category photo books. So here are a couple of pages close up so you can see the colors. Now again something that I noticed with mixed book books is that in the past some of them were a little bit oversaturated and some of them came just fine and there was a little bit of inconsistency in the color and saturation. However, the books that I got in the past two years were all consistently good and the color balance was much better. So let me show you the one, the most recent book, the Italy book, up close. Very nicely balanced, not too cold, not too warm and a sharp image. Now these books, again, were sent from the UK and the older books were sent from the US. So I'm not sure if they're using the exact same printers and settings, but the most recent books that I got were much better than the older ones and more consistent in quality. Again, close up so you can see the sharpness and detail. As you can see, the quality is very nice and the colors are vibrant, but server halide is always going to be 
a little bit smoother and more natural, especially on human skin tones and nature photography. And just one final thing to mention is the prices and the deals. So if you know Mixbook, they run deals and discounts every single week of the year. So you almost never pay the full price that you see on the website. The discounts range from 30 to 60% off depending on how much you spend. And for the latest discounts, you can visit my blog, thephotobooker.com slash deals. Now, let me just give you some guide prices. This book here, which is a hardcover book and is a medium landscape size, 11 by 8.5 inches, standard with 20 pages, the full price is $47. However, after discount, you're more likely to pay $30 for it. The same book in the lay flat binding for 20 pages and the same size is going to be $110. And after discount, it should be around 60 to $66, depending on what kind of a discount you get. So this was my updated review of Meg's book. Uh, I hope I managed to talk about every little detail of these books. And this is the most update from 2020. So it reflects all the prices and available options from the website. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. I try to answer them. And thank you very much for watching. As always, subscribe for more.